the cheapest electric car that you can buy in the UK it is 7,000 US dollars. I mean, it's insanely cheap. I paid that much for my electric bicycle and my bicycle was just sort of mid-tier, mid-range. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. This this form of transport is quite interesting when you when you think about it being so incredibly cheap. The Do Good Zero is an electric micro car, which was probably designed for dense cities, which there's a lot of those in Europe. There's a lot of those in China. There's a lot of those all around the world. And this is the sort of car where you could fit two of them into a single parking space. In a lot of ways, it makes so much sense. It makes a lot of sense because most car journeys, more than 90% of them are done with a single passenger in the car. Do you really need a big car? Now, if you're driving in a city and you're doing, say, 10 miles of, of driving in a city, this is the kind of vehicle that I think would be perfect for a lot of people. Very cheap to buy, very cheap to run, easy to park. In theory, it makes sense, but is it safe? Well, a lot of people are not fans of these small electric micro cars. They say they're too dangerous, they shouldn't be driven because uh, trucks, uh, meaning pickup trucks, utes, they're gonna just drive straight over the top of them and crush them. Uh, that's kind of a weird thing for people. So I've, never, I've never understood this because, I mean, I've ridden my bicycle through cities around the world for years. Uh, no truck ever rode over the top of me and crushed me. There's no ute that ever did that. And I've ridden on public roads. I've done probably maybe 40,000 kilometers on public roads. I mean, many people have done hundreds of thousands of miles on their bicycles and they're not dead yet. Anyway, so I think this could accelerate the adoption of small cars. Now, do good motors... Um, they are comparing their vehicle to the Citroen Amy. It's kind of a good comparison. The Citroen Amy is more expensive. Um, for one, it's made in Europe. So you're probably thinking to yourself, this thing looks really small. How big is it? It, it is really small. It's half the length of a Tesla Model S. 2,500 millimeters long. It's, yeah, I mean, it's pretty narrow. 1,200 millimeters wide, so 1.2 meters wide, 2.5 meters long, and it's 1,625 millimeters high. So it's only just over 1.5 meters high. It's got a very um, power lacking motor. It's only a 2.2 kilowatt motor, but fortunately it's quite light because it only has a 4.8 kilowatt hour lithium iron battery. But that is good for 50 miles of range, they say. That's 81 kilometers. Now for the average person in average city, they're only driving about apparently 25 miles a day. So 50 miles is fine, right? Well, I'm not convinced you're going to get 50 miles of range out of a battery that small, but you never know because like I said, it is very light. It only weighs 489 kilograms, which is 1,000 pounds. So it's, well, put it this way, about 10 of these would be the weight of one single Hummer electric pickup truck, about 10 of them. Yeah, top speed. It's not fast. It's 45 kilometers an hour, which is 28 miles an hour, which, like I said, I think it's fine for dense cities. Of course, you would never drive this thing on a freeway or a or even a highway or, you know, even like a subhighway because 45 kilometers an hour is just too, too slow. Why is it light? I mean, yeah, you know, it's got a small battery, small motor, but it still it seems very, very light. Well, it's got an aluminum monocoque body. And it also has only enough space for um, two adults, uh, but realistically more like one adult and maybe a small child or a dog or something like that. Apparently it's got a vegan interior, whatever that means, I don't know. Standard features include a sunroof, a remote key, a one button start, reverse camera, LED lights, LCD screen, speaker, it's got one speaker, better than a bike, right? <laughs> a radio. Bluetooth connectivity, and it does have a heater. Um, it has a type one charger. I'm not sure what that means, but charging time they say takes six to eight hours. So it's not made for charging in a DC fast charging. So it's just made for charging at home. So the price is 6,000 euros, which is around 7,634 US dollars. I think it's a pretty good deal, but hang on a minute. Is it really a good deal? Well, actually, it turns out that this vehicle, as pointed out by Clean Technica on their website, 
is not actually a European car. It's actually the Shandong A520. The Shandong A520 is, of course, as it sounds like, a Chinese electric car. So Do Good Motors are simply buying the cars in China and shipping them over to Europe and the UK and selling them very cheaply as not a Shandong. Now you might be thinking, well, if this is a Chinese EV just being uh, sent over to Europe or the UK to be sold, is it even legal to do this? Is it safe? Well, apparently it is safe enough to be sold and it's not technically a quadricycle according to this company. I don't know why that is because to me, it definitely looks like a quadricycle. So if anyone knows why this is not a quadricycle, let me know in the comments because I'm intrigued. Now, if you're wondering how much these cost to buy in China, if you buy lots of them, you can get them for 2000 US dollars. Now, I'm not sure what the price is because on the website, um, it says US two to $4,000 per piece, depending on how many pieces you buy. Now, a piece is, of course, a reference to one car. Anyhow, if you wanted to, maybe you could buy lots of pieces and get them for 2000 US dollars. It seems like an incredible bargain considering it's an aluminium, basically an aluminium vehicle with a lithium ion phosphate battery. That um, seems not bad for this price. Now, is this a good idea? I mean, is this kind of car a good idea, this sort of small city car? Does it make sense? Well, definitely makes sense over what a lot of people are doing. I'm not sure if it makes sense for most people to own though. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.